Hello again. Welcome to the darkness of my life. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. It's just dark. We, this house wasn't built with um, a lot of lighting. Uh, it was The house, I think, was built back in the 80s. But pretty much the only rooms in the house that have, like, ceiling lights. We have one in the dining room, one in the kitchen, of course, the hallway, and then one bedroom upstairs. That's it. Everything else requires lamp light. So, I'm going to have to replace this lamp pretty soon because it's getting a little, ra uh, a little raggedy falling apart but anyway uh please don't mind the hair or the face i just the lighting makes me look horrible and i just washed my hair so i haven't really done anything to it so anyway finally got a call well i guess you could technically call it an email back from a company that i applied for it was the first one in two weeks, I think, that I've actually gotten a response from somebody. Um, and it's a, it's only for a part-time job, which, better than nothing. Um, and it's in data entry, just like my last job. And, um, well, my last long-standing job. Which is funny, because the testing that they gave me... Um, when they did the IQ, dyslexia, whatever. When they did all that testing and, you know, the, the, the psych psychiatrist writ wrote up her report. It said specifically the thing that I shouldn't do. And I, I, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. In parentheses, it had data entry. And I was like... I did that for 11 years. <laughs> so obviously, I don't know. Anyway, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. I'm always anxious. Um, especially when the, something new, especially when I have to learn something new, when I have to get adjusted, um, when I have to fail. Uh, you know what I mean? Hopefully, in most places, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to fail in the beginning. Um, but there's generally a learning curve. You know, they, they're, most companies are understanding. Uh, not all companies, last company wasn't. But, um, so yeah, should I get hired on? It actually will probably work out for the best. I mean, the pay is reasonable for a part-time job. Uh, and because Bo um, recently it got a very significant raise in pay um, with with him working with what he gets, and then if I work part time, getting you know what I would be getting, we will be, we'll be fine. <laughs> Bills will be paid, mortgage will be paid. However, right now the mortgage is not paid. Uh, I, I was able to pay half today, so we'll get caught up though. We'll get caught up. A anyway, I babbled on long enough about that. One of the things I wanted to talk about, um, is that what I just did. I know a lot of people when, when they're talking on video or, you know, even, um, hang on. Ca casual conversation um they'll have times where they you know stop and think or you know everybody has those moments where oh you know, what's that word but something that i don't think a lot of people know or really understand about dyslexia is it's a language based disorder um and it could take what I say with a with a grain of salt because not everybody is the same. Um, there are a wide variety of you know ranges of symptoms for people who are dyslexic. Some people, it's just the reading. 
Some people, you know, it's a little, it, it's more complicated than that. For me, if you haven't noticed already, I will pause very frequently uh, when I'm talking. And that's not because I don't know what to say. It's, I have... I have difficulty sometimes with word retrieval, um, which means <laughs> that's why I pause. That's why I'll pause while I'm talking. Um, I'll frequently um, pull the wrong word. Frequently. Uh, it happens. I, I, I keep my fingers crossed that it never happens like in the workplace or, you know, in, a, in an important situation but the fact of the matter is is it's always possible that it can happen anywhere most of the time I'm pretty lucky and it happens when I'm here at home talking to my boyfriend or with I'm with my family you know it's something that they're accustomed to and they you know they understand <laughs> usually they they get what I'm saying um but it's frustrating it can be very very frustrating um I've, I've done it several times today and and you know it's it's funny and you have to laugh at yourself because I mean nothing I can do to change it and sometimes I say the strangest things that just don't make any sense whatsoever sometimes I catch it you know sometimes I catch it immediately and sometimes I don't catch it at all and um, my boyfriend or whoever will have to say you know didn't you mean to say this or did did you mean to say that or uh it's really interesting and and I'm lucky to have uh somebody who understands um I think one day we were at Walmart and he was talking to me and and I I, I went to say something to him and I called him by a different name I swear I don't know anybody with this name. I don't know where the name came from, why it came out of my mouth. Um, it's just that word retrieval. And it's like, whatever for whatever reason, my brain reached in and grabbed that, this word. And nope, that was not it. That was not the word I was looking for. But it's comical. You know, it's, and it, it's, it's common for a lot of dyslexics to transpose words. You know, um, transposed letters, uh, like, I can't even think of an example right now, but, like, the first letter of the second word transposed into the first letter of the first word to the second. It, it, it's common. It's very common. And it's interesting because my father, who is also dyslexic, um, we used to get so frustrated because... He would stop talking. Like that. For a very long period of time. And sometimes he would stop talking. Like he was finished talking. And I don't know if it was just that in his own mind. The story was finished. Um, but. Growing up we had to. Always say you know dad. Don't think you're done with that story. <laughs> Um, what, uh, what happened next? Or we, we always had to ask him, are you finished talking about this? You know, what, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now I understand why he does that. Um, and why he, you know, that, that for him is something that is very severe, you know, um, as it is for me. Now I, I tend to not pause quite that long. Usually, I hope not. Anyway, um, I try and t I try to be a little bit more, a little bit quicker with my word retrieval um, as fast as I can. Anyway, so I just thought it was it's inter interesting fact for people who didn't know. Uh, if you run into somebody who uh, takes frequent pauses when they're speaking. Or uh, frequently does that, oh, what is that word? What is, what is that? It's on the tip of my brain. They might be dyslexic. I don't know. I mean, it happens to everybody, I'm sure. I mean, it's not like this is something that's unique to just 
people who are dyslexic, but we are significantly worse at it, I guess you could say. So yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I mean, speaking is definitely easier sometimes than writing, even though I feel like writing sometimes is easier than speaking because I can take three hours writing something down, you know, and take my time, find the words, you know, and get my, my point across. Whereas I'm speaking, I'm, it's there, you know, I've got to find a way to be articulate and um, get my point across as intelligently as possible. <laughs> Sometimes that the language part of my brain just, it, it, it's like it has little hiccups and uh, it's just really interesting, I think. But, well, we'll talk next time about something different, I guess. There's so many different aspects that people don't really realize. I mean, people hear dyslexia, a lot of people don't even know what it is, but most people when they hear dyslexia, it, it's like, oh, that that's where you see letters and numbers and words backwards or, you know, I don't think I've ever seen anything backwards. I don't think I have. Um, when I was growing up, constant uh, error, and I still do this to this day, even when I'm typing, which doesn't make sense to me, but B and P, I always got mixed up. Not that I mixed them up as far as um, knowing what they were, but I would use a B instead of a P or a P instead of a B for a whatever word. Um, and I do, I still do that to this day, e even when I'm typing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's so much more than just reading and writing and, um, and it's so much more specific than just reading backwards or writing backwards or, you know, mm. and I'll get into more of it, I guess. So just in case people are curious and they stumble upon my white ghost like face in this horrible lighting. Um, so come back again if you happen upon. If not, meh. It's interesting stuff anyway. So.